There was a time where DIYing your own high fidelity amplifier was a long and arduous task of researching, gathering components, and even soldering small electronics, leaving this task up to only the most dedicated to make their own high fidelity amplifiers. Thankfully, with the help of this new site, DIY Class D, that is a thing of the past. This site is brought to you by the high-end amplifier manufacturer HypeX, and they are bringing high-fidelity DIY amplifier kits at an affordable price and an ease of use that I have not seen before. And to prove it, I'm going to build one of their amplifiers in this video. That way you can see just how easy it is to DIY your own high-fidelity system. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit more about HypeX, because some of you might not be familiar with the HypeX brand or them as a company. They make some of the highest end Class D amplifiers on the market. Now these amplifier modules can be found in high end commercial offerings from companies like Belcanto and NAD. But what a lot of people do not realize is that Hypex was actually founded in 1996 in the attic of their former CEO, Jean-Peter Van Ameron. He always valued the feedback and input from DIY enthusiasts. Now HypeX wants to continue to recognize the contributions that the DIY field has made to the industry. And because of that, they have created this new website, DIY Class D for DIY enthusiasts. This site allows you to build your own high-end system with ease. They have high fidelity amplifier kits, pre-amplifier kits, and even play amplifiers. And if you want to design your own, they even offer parts for that. Now, after browsing the site, the Neelai 500 DIY kit really caught my eye. And thankfully, DIY Class D was nice enough to send me one over to build and review on this channel. Now, this is a stereo amplifier that offers near state-of-the-art performance. Not only can it produce 300 watts at channel per 4 ohm, but it's also capable of driving even the most demanding speakers by being stable down to 2 ohms. Thankfully, this kit offers everything in it with no soldering required. Now, it is important to note that DIY Class D did send this to me, but I do not make any commission if you buy it from them, and that I only agreed to do this video if I could be 100% honest with you about my feedback. Thankfully, they agreed to that. So with that in mind, let's get building. Not only is this kit really easy to assemble, it actually comes with all the tools that are necessary for this build as well. Once we have the feed installed, we're going to install these braces here. These are going to hold on the front panel. Now make sure to put these on the front of the amplifier. And you can tell that because the rear actually has a scratched off portion that's going to connect the ground later. When attaching the power supply, if you move the case over the edge of the table just a little bit, you can get the first two screws in and that really holds everything in place so that you can flip it over and attach everything else. This is the only thing you might need to change on the amplifier when you're building it. This is a gain switch and you can switch it between low, medium, and high depending on what you're hooking it up to. Mine came on medium and that's where I left it. Pay special attention to the way that I put those amplifier modules on because they are 180 degrees the wrong direction. And of course we'll see that a little bit later, but you need to put those on correctly because later it won't allow the pre-cut wires to fit if they're in the wrong orientation. Thank you. 
The binding posts do line up with an indent on the rear panel. Now you're going to want to take off this plastic piece and line it up with the rear panel in the way that you want your binding post to fit in the end. This amplifier kit does come with two XLR inputs, but they do look a little bit different. The left XLR does have a control board connected to it that has both a toggle switch to dim the front LED and a 12 volt trigger. I love the fact that all of these power wires came pre-cut with all of the ends on them. There was nothing that I had to do except follow the directions and make sure that I put them in the right spot on the back of all the power connections. I know I said the kit came with all the tools, but it actually did not come with a flathead screwdriver, which I did need to install these pre-soldered and pre-assembled speaker wires. When installing this ground, you want to make sure it gets really tight. So I did grab a pair of pliers that were not supplied with this to hold the nut while tightening down the screw. That way I knew it would get very tight. Now don't let any of these cables or ribbon cables concern you because they are designed to only go on uh, one direction. I finally realized I had switched the amplifier orientation and so I quickly switched those back so that all the cables would then fit correctly. All these cable sets are pre-cut and pre-wired to the exact size that you need and they are just complete plug and play making this very simple to complete.
This was by far the easiest piece of hi-fi equipment that I have ever built. I honestly wish I would have done it with my six and eight year old boys. I think they would have absolutely loved it. And it would have been a great intro into DIY high fidelity. It truly is a kit that I think anyone could build. And the great part about it is not only do you get a high fidelity amplifier with huge savings, but you also get the pride of knowing that every time you turn on your amplifier and listen to it, that you built it. Now, speaking of high fidelity, you probably wanna know my honest thoughts about the kit and of course its sound quality. Now, as soon as I listened to the first song in this amplifier, I knew it was something special. There is a clarity to high fidelity amplifiers that is just missing in less expensive offerings. There is no hiss or hum. There's just the openness and spaciousness of your speakers playing your favorite songs. Now, every speaker that I hooked up to this instantly opened up. And one of the things I did not expect were the dynamics it offered. When listening to music or movies, it had power when it needed and never did allow my speakers to lose control, making this not only a great high fidelity amplifier, but I also think this would work really well for a home theater system. Now, the kit itself was extremely high quality. Now, even the wiring kits were high quality wires with no compromises spent. I love the fact that they added the 12 volt trigger and a way to dim the LED light, which a lot of people want. Now, even adding the small power switch above the LED was just a really nice touch. However, there is one thing that I would love to see improved. The rear panel is held together with only four corner screws. Now, when I was unplugging my banana plugs from the binding post, it did want to pull the middle part of that rear panel away from the main body. Now it didn't cause any issues or damage to the case, but it would be a nice addition to see a few more screws in that area to strengthen it. Now as a whole, I couldn't have asked for a better DIY amplifier kit. And if you are wanting to get into DIY high fidelity, I strongly recommend checking out DIY Class D and look over their offerings. If you like DIY audio, make sure to subscribe to the channel. This is Toyd's DIY Audio, and I'm out.